is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing my nine-year-old who is Brielle, she's right here. I'm gonna be showing her um, homeschool routine. In the mornings, it's a little bit chaotic because I do have two toddlers. I have a one and a three-year-old and <laughs> you, as you can hear them right now, um, what's wrong, Alana? You're okay. <laughs> So, um, for the most part in the morning, you guys, I might do kind of like a voiceover. They see you. They see you being crazy. <laughs> so, I have a one and a three year old, you guys, and um, in the mornings, we typically keep our homeschool really light. Right now, my daughter is working on her um, creative writing in her daily journal. And I'm going to go ahead and get some breakfast done. And I will try my best to show you um, glimpses of our day and everything that happens. So I hope you guys enjoy watching my nine-year-old's homeschool routine. Okay, you guys, while I have everyone at the table a little bit settled, I have my two toddlers kind of coloring. They're doing whatever they want to do. Brielle is working on her daily journal. <laughs> my little one is calling me. I think I'm just gonna make some muffins really quick this morning and probably some eggs. Just something really, really simple. Um, I love these little box kits. They always come in hand. So let me go ahead and get to work. Mama's here. I don't know about you guys, but me as a mom of three, cooking breakfast is pretty much the hardest task that I have to do in the morning. I'm not too sure why this meal is always the hardest for me. My toddlers always seem to get into something. Um, they are definitely uh, a handful. <laughs> but you guys, I love them to death. Um, so for breakfast time, I really try my best to keep things very, very simple. Um, my daughters, they love muffins and raisin toast and bagels. And by me doing this, it definitely uh, keeps things flowing in the mornings for me. I love listening to praise and worship and gospel music in the morning, you guys. It is so uplifting. I put um, my music on our speaker and I just let it uh, play out loud. Um, I get a little praise dancing every now and then and my daughters love listening to all of the gospel and the spiritual music in the morning as well. Here goes a live view of what it actually sounds like this morning. No, that wasn't nice. Did you color on mommy's couch? You guys, she got into a dry erase marker and this is how the side of my couch looks right now. So yeah. Okay, you guys, off camera, I went ahead and did my two toddlers hair. This is a normal time that I do their hair in the morning. I try my best to keep them looking cute. I don't do their hair every day, but I'm trying my best to um, get into the habit of doing their hair every day because I have noticed a behavior change, especially when they're all dialed up and they're looking cute. I went ahead, you guys, and I gave my daughters um, some Goger just to hold them over. The muffins are still cooking in the um, oven, and I just want to make sure that they have a little snack while they're waiting. You guys, these muffins came out so good. Um, they were really delicious. Um, these box kits, they have definitely been um, surprising me, and they have definitely been coming in on hand. So my daughter Brielle, she finished her creative writing and she is in the kitchen helping me cook. I have been making sure Brielle has been coming in the kitchen with me ever since last December. I really feel like uh, cooking is a good life skill for any child to have and her being nine, she's at the perfect age to uh, learn how to cook. Um, she loves coming on the stove with me uh, for every meal, especially now dinner time, to learn how to cook new things. 
So here is breakfast, you guys. We have muffins. I had some potatoes in the refrigerator. I just heated up in a microwave. And I'm going to send a plate downstairs to my husband. My husband is still working from home. I feel so blessed that he's still here. So I try my best to bring down some breakfast to him uh, in the mornings. He has a lot of morning meetings and he can't really get upstairs uh, to get any breakfast. So that's just my little treat that I love to do for him as well. Okay, you guys, while the kids are eating, I'm gonna go ahead and do Bible. This is the time I normally do Bible for all of them, even my younger toddlers. I have like all of their books and I have my big stack right here of books that we're gonna read for our devotion and morning time. So um, yeah, let me go ahead and get started while they're still eating. Okay. Oh, you ready for me to read your book? Okay. God made friends. Are you ready? God made us to laugh. He made us to share. I will sing about the Lord's love, Psalms 89, verse 1. Okay, we'll read about Noah since you want to read about Noah. Okay, Lay? Yeah, we'll read about Noah. Okay, are you ready? This man is, who's this man? Noah! Good job, this man is Noah. Noah lived a long time ago. Noah was God's special friend. One day, God told Noah it was going to rain and rain. Make a big boat. Good job, boat. <laughs> Make a big boat and you and your family will be safe. Bible time in the morning with my daughters is my favorite part of the day. This is what reminds me of my goal and my purpose to homeschool is to teach my daughters all about God and just to let them know that he is always there for them and to build that foundation and that relationship with him. I feel like I would never have this one-on-one -on -one opportunity with my daughters if I wasn't homeschooling. And um, I just love this uh, morning time that we get to build character and um, just seeing my daughters learn um, and thrive in God. My daughter Brielle, she actually uh, does a separate devotion. She actually um, does her September in Co cards um, that talks about different character. Right now we are on forgiveness. We also read a daily devotional book called How God Grows Courageous Girls. And she does her primary Sabbath school lesson as well. We have like a morning basket with all of our Bible things. And if you guys want like more details about like our Bible and morning routine, I will be glad to make another video about that. Um, especially because this is definitely my passion and the center of our homeschool. Okay, you guys, we have finished Bible and we are headed in Bible and we ate breakfast. So Brielle is going to go ahead and do typing.com. The two little ones are still eating right now. Um, during Bible time, they eat sometimes. They just take a little bit longer. So um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let her do typing. Then after this, we will go into our read aloud. So Brie, go ahead and get your typing done, baby. Yeah, I got a video to oh, you got a video to watch? Oh, we use typing.com. It's a free um, typing curriculum that's online and my daughter loves it, so yeah. Okay, you guys, Brielle, she's finishing typing and we are about to start our reading time. I have this big old basket right here of all of my toddlers, like board books and things like that, that I like to read to them too. And then Brielle, she listens to packs right here on Audible. Um, our mornings, you guys, if you haven't noticed, are very laid back because I really need to give myself this flexibility, especially when I have all three of my girls up. I really need to be present here for my toddlers because they demand my attention. Whoa. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> so they want my attention and everything like that. So um, 
when yeah. they go to sleep is when me and Brielle will really hit it hard with our core curriculum. But for right now, it's kind of like a rainy day, you guys. We're just going to uh, get our blankets and we're just going to do some nice reading time. Right, baby? We got read. <laughs> yeah, we're going to read. Several times. In just these few days, it had become an old argument. He watched her shake off water in the doorway and it reminded him of Pax. The dog-like way he did that. Was it raining where he was? Would he still shake himself off if there was no warm, dry inside to come into? Peter shivered and rubbed his arms. What's the matter? You look like you're in pain. During reading time, I try my best to multitask between my two toddlers. Um, they always are grabbing many books out of the basket for us to read. We typically do our purely preschool, but in this video, I didn't show you guys us doing our purely preschool and all of the books we've been reading with that unit as well. So right now I have my daughter playing with some magnet tiles in my front closet. I have the Legos, I have magnet tiles, I have so many different um, blocks and uh, sensory things for them to do that I pull out during this time. You guys, my daughters, they love Elmo, they love Coco Melon, and my job in the morning is not to turn on the TV until lunchtime. So I have been very successful in that, but it's really hard sometimes because they love their Coco melon. Okay you guys, Brielle, she is about to go ahead and do math. I have like maybe about an hour before it's time for me to put my two younger ones down for a nap. So this is our new <laughs> little homeschool room right now. This is like my office slash our homeschool room. If you've seen my last video, you would have seen me setting up this area in the desk for Brielle. I can do like a full tour showing you guys like all of like the little details inside of all of our drawers and everything like that. But Brie is going to go ahead and do her math. I need to go from back downstairs with my toddlers. So she can do this math very independently. She doesn't need me. We're doing a Becca Arithmetic 4 and she's been enjoying it. Sometimes she does, you know, get frustrated with the amount of problems. So you guys, I just cross out the extra practice. She just does the meat of it and um, yeah. So I can run back downstairs and let Brie do her math work up here independently and quietly. Um, so yeah. Okay, you guys, Brielle is still downstairs finishing up her lunch. I just put the girls down. I don't think they're quite sleep yet. Let's see. They're in their beds, but I don't think they're quite sleep just yet. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to check Brielle's um, math work right here that she did. And I'm just gonna see what she got wrong, Ooh. if it's anything. <laughs> you, you finished? <laughs> if it's anything that um, we need to go over. And since she finished her lunch and she's up here right now with me, what I will do is I'll go ahead and have her do her spelling lesson um, while I check her math work so we can kind of be getting two things done at um, one time. I like to utilize the time that we have really, really good just because uh, the girls are going to be asleep for maybe an hour and a half to possibly two hours. So we have to get all of our, the rest of our core work done. So for today, all we have left to do is for us to go over math. We have English, spelling, and today we have history. Oh, that's your checklist? Yes. So Brielle is just showing you guys her checklist that I made here. Let me see. Her checklist that I made for her today. And she loves when I make these because this allows her to be like more independent where she can see what she's expected. And um, 
if it's something or if sometimes I am busy with my two younger toddlers, she doesn't have to stop and wait for me. She can just go on to the next thing. Like um, if I was still putting Leia and Alana down for a nap, she could have came in here and went and started with her spelling um, and things like that. Things that she knows she can do on her own without me. So yeah, let me go ahead and start checking her work and she's going to work on her spelling. lesson that she did so in the abeka it has like the green parts that's extra practice so i just crossed them out so this is her lesson for today you guys and she only missed one problem in all of her problems so what she normally does is she'll get her dry erase board yes. right here and she will work out the problem one more time and sometimes i'll go over it with her and then for her speed drill she did an awesome job on her speed drill she only missed one so out of all of those problems she did, she only missed two. So even though Brie doesn't really like math that much, she's really good it's at it. It's the worst. It's not the worst for Brie. <laughs> so um, she's really good at it. And um, I just make this um, workbook work for us. I don't have her do like all the problems. We just do whatever works out for us. So she's going to go ahead and finish that up. And I'm going to go ahead and get everything ready for us to start English and just kind of like get the ball moving <laughs> for us, so yeah. For English, we are using Building Christian English Series by Rod and Staff. And you guys, my daughter loves this simple English curriculum. Um, the teaching portion of this curriculum, I find, is not really teacher intensive at all, especially in this grade level. It takes me maybe about five, possibly 10 minutes to go over the lesson with my daughter. And then she does the written practice all on her own. She doesn't really need me after that point. I just like to use my dry erase board um, because my daughter is a visual learner and I just love having this here for her. So Brie Brie is working on her spelling and we're going to get a little spelling dictation going as well. Was the busiest dog happier than the laziest dog? Was the busiest dog happier than the laziest dog okay so you guys brielle wants to share with you her daily journal story or whatever um she does daily journal or creative writing sometimes four times out the week it just depends whenever she feels like it um this is just an opportunity in the morning for her like to jot down like all of her thoughts and everything <laughs> like that so she's gonna read to you guys her uh cute little poem she wrote so go ahead brielle move out the way okay <laughs> all right this is called fall, a fall tradition. Fall is so pretty. Its colors rise. The leaves come out sweetly with the colors all bright. The yummy cider jumping in leaves. Fall is creative. Fall is calm. Feel the breeze. Fall is autumn. Awesome, Brie. Awesome. And I wrote some of the words correctly for on purpose <laughs> and here goes the other picture oh here it is oh that's beautiful i like that poem <laughs> it has all of my side <laughs> you did awesome okay you guys we are about to do our Rod and Staff english building with diligence my daughter actually prefers this over the master books so, yeah, that's your student book and this is the teacher's guide. 
So Bree, she actually prefers this over Masterbook. So you guys, to really be honest, we have been doing this more now than ever and I really don't mind. I like it too. I think she likes it because it's really straight to the point and this just gives her her grammar and then she's good to go. Um, I've been enjoying it. I love the teaching component. It gives me everything I need and I can't believe this curriculum I found it used for only $13 and um, yeah we've really been enjoying Rod and Saf. So this really right now has become our primary English that we have been sticking with. So um, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and get into our Rod and Staff lesson. Yes. Okay, Brie, so... Oh, this is... <laughs> sorry, you guys. This is Brielle's little composition book that she uses to write with her uh, written work with Rod and Staff. And then I have like these really cool erasable marker pens that I let her just choose whatever color she wants to use for the day. It just makes it kind of fun because the book is really simple. It's like black and white on the inside. It's no fancy frills or anything like that. So I figured to let her write in color pen that might like spice it up a bit. But I think she likes the simplicity of Rod and Staff. And I think that's why I like it as well. Okay, Bree, so we are on lesson number 11, okay? So yeah. in your textbook, you're going to turn to page... Oh, you want to write your... Um, oh, yeah, I turn to page... Turn to page 46. Okay, you got it? Okay, so what two parts of speech does every sentence have? A subject and a predicate. Good job. Every sentence must begin with what and end with what? A subject. Each sentence must begin with the subject and end with the predicate. Each sentence must begin with a capital letter, a capital letter um, and end with a what? Punctuation. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Okay, you guys, Brielle, she just got finished finishing her uh, Rod and Staff English. It was really simple. Today, we were just diagramming um, compounds, subjects, and predicates. She did an awesome job. Hopefully, you can kind of see this like here, right here with all of her color uh, pins that she used. But um, yeah, so we are all done. We typically do Amazing Africa um, today for our history, but you guys, we are exhausted. Brielle right now, she's laying on the floor. She's done, I'm done. Um, it's a rainy day and I think we're going to pretty much just be laid back the rest of today um, and just chill. <laughs> Brielle, she may do like some independent play during this time and then she will do her piano practice. But for the most part, we, we're just gonna call it a day. Um, in the days like this where we don't get to either science or history, I would just push it to Friday on our fun Fridays and doing that one history or one science lesson, it really isn't a big deal. Um, I think honestly, it's more important that we listen to our bodies and we just stop when we are ready to stop. So I still find today to be very successful because we got done writing, typing, reading, math, and language arts. And I really feel like 
you know, we had a successful uh, school day and um, I'll take that. So you guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoy seeing my nine year old's homeschool routine and hopefully you guys can take some take away from anything that we did today um, and, you know, bring it into your homeschool. We really keep things really laid back and simple here and um, we kind of just go with the flow. So you guys, I look forward to seeing everybody in my next video. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and I'll see everybody next time. Bye. Bye.